know what is good youtube krishan checking back in with another video let's start this video off with big rami you guys are currently looking at images from his arnold classic prep and there are a lot of people that look at this physique and they say this guy is done he should just go ahead and retire and personally i just don't see that big rami made massive improvements from the olympia to the arnold classic I believe we only had maybe 10 weeks. And if Rami improved that much over 10 weeks, I can only imagine how much he can improve over multiple months. Actually, I think Rami will look pretty impressive at this Pittsburgh Pro guest posing if he makes it there. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from the mutant Nick Walker who recently did a guest posing. Front double bicep is looking very, very impressive. The first thing that I noticed, Nick Walker did the Arnold Classic about one month ago, but he's still in incredible condition Nick is in better condition in the offseason than some bodybuilders get in on stage. Just take a look at how grainy Nick Walker's legs are. But after the 2022 Mr. Olympia, Nick said he doesn't want to push his weight up too high this offseason. He really wants to keep it tight, but also make improvements in the chest, the back, and the quads. And you guys let me know in the comment section below, what does the future hold for Nick Walker? A lot of people think because of his structure, he will not beat Samson Dowda again, and he probably won't beat Andrew or Derek. Let me know what you guys think. And in the next update of the day, we have an update from Quentin Araya, Quint Beastwood, who was also at the same guest posing as Nick Walker. And this guy made a lot of noise. Quint came in absolutely massive. Some people said he outmuscled Nick Walker, and this is a guy that Nick should definitely watch out for in the future. Quint has said multiple times he's taking the entire 2023 off, and next year he's coming to dominate. And let's not forget he is coached by Matt Jansen, who is known for bringing guys in at 100% every single time. Now switching over to Michael Crizzo, who also recently did a guest posing. This is the best image I could find of Crizzo. And even though we know he needs to work on the glutes and the hamstrings, when I was looking at posing videos from this, they were only up for 24 hours on a story. Crizzo has to work on that midsection control, and the posing is still an issue. Now switching over to the man, the myth, the Mona Lisa, Andrew Jack, who recently posted up an update. You guys are looking at third place from the 2023 Arnold Classic, eighth place from the 2022 Mr. Olympia. What does the future hold for Andrew Jack? We all know that this guy is capable of winning the Mr. Olympia, if you guys don't know, I believe Andrew is 38, so time is ticking a little bit, but I believe Sean Roden won the title at 44. I'm excited to see Andrew on stage again. I believe the Arnold Classic package was his best to date. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Good Vito. This guy turned pro at last year's Fit Power show. I believe that's the same show Eduardo Correa won, but when will he make his pro debut? I'm honestly very surprised that Good Vito and Michael Crizzo ended up coming over to the NPC. Honestly, I thought that may never happen. And personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing Good Vito on stage. I wanna see how he matches up with some of the best guys in the sport. Where do you guys think he stacks up right now? You know, maybe around Ian Valley year, Michael Crizzo's level, higher, lower, let me know. Now switching over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update from Stefan Matala. This guy looks incredible once again. And I wonder if he has some shoulder mobility issues because those elbows could definitely be pushed out more in their front double bicep. But he's sitting at 238 pounds, and this guy says he has nothing else left to lose. But looking at the legs, I can see a little bit more fat and water come off from the area. Take a look at the back on this guy. And once again, you can see he isn't opening up too wide, so maybe he does have some shoulder mobility issues. But I will update you guys on Stefan. I really like this guy's physique. Reminds me a bit of Samson Dowda. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Aaron Banks, reigning Arnold Classic champion, reigning Olympia champion in the men's physique division. And I know majority of bodybuilding channels don't talk about men's physique, if at all, but I was very impressed by this update of Aaron Banks. Just take a look at the back on this guy. Regardless of the division, this back is very, very impressive. Thick, lower lead insertions, crazy delts, crazy thickness through the upper back. I believe Aaron Banks can hold this men's physique title for a very long time. Now let's go ahead and wrap up this video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below, who is this legendary bodybuilder? He almost reminds me of the midget version of Phil Heath. No disrespect to this legend, of course. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.